time for us to take suzerainty of that. Oh, and that... Oh, that is beautiful. And there's another religious city-state. Hey, everyone. Speed Demon here, and welcome to this episode of Let's Play Australia. Today's episode, we're going to defend against uh, the Khmer Empire here. And then once we start setting up our next attack, we should be in a good position. We have ourselves settled in pretty well here. What we need to do is continue spreading. So we are going to actually start spreading properly into these other areas. That way we can really properly kind of get a foothold of our religion here. And that'll put more pressure against these other areas. We have a pretty good chunk of land here that's been converted to our cause. We're going to hold on to these missionaries. I want us to have the maximum amount of population here converted to our religion. So that way we can win this particular engagement. By winning it, what happens is that we get a nice burst of pressure in all nearby cities. I'm actually going to take Debater here, because having a couple more of these at that specific type is going to be really, really good for us. Because that'll put us in a good position, because more Apostles against us, we can just damage and have a better outcome for. So let's just continue working for that. So right here, 400 Diplomatic Favor for 150 gold per turn and 430 gold outright. That's not too bad. That's not a bad thing at all, which means we are going to take that promotion for Patron Saint. When we actually continue to develop this setup with Moksha, we're actually going to start buying all of our Apostles from this city specifically. That way we can really, really, really develop the setup that we're looking for. Good, so there's a barb camp around here. Let's go ahead and just destroy that. And then we won't be able to destroy the barb camp unless we get a unit over there. But we can start developing further pressure in the area by just killing off a lot of these barbarians. Let's go ahead and kill that unit off. Grandmaster's Chapel here isn't going to provide us any benefit. When it says land units here, it's actually referring to land military units only. So it's not going to help us for the other purpose. This is unfortunately a bit of a description issue. It doesn't clarify very well. So it was just something to be aware of. Time for us to take suzerainty of that. Oh, and that... Oh, that is beautiful. And there's another religious city-state. What'll happen is that a high-population city, say, for example, a city like this, can actually well be converted over. And that is pretty strong for us. Awesome. That's good. That's going to be a problem eventually. And then we got that as well. Cool. So we get some things that'll benefit us. We're going to put another envoy into Yerevan there just to protect it. So that way we're less likely to have that taken away from us. The more that we protect it, the better. So it'll be harder for the AI to catch up. And this apostle, I am actually going to bring over this way and just convert you know, this city here, and then do a couple more conversions. And that way I get some good utility out of it and just keep our religious presence very much optimized. Be able to settle that city. And then we can get another bit of era score. Good, so we did get some era score from that. And then we're going to get some more era score from Eiffel Tower. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to get ourselves set up here for the next episode. I want to thank you all for your time. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. We'll keep the videos coming. Thank you all for your support, and get ready for the next episode. It's going to be a big one. All right, Speed D-Man out.